the fuck up. You know, I don't really know where to start with this. But I'm going to tell you where this video came from, okay? Uh, Y'all know me, every once in a while, someone irritates me on here. But that's okay, because it usually helps bring out a rant that helps all of you. Alright, so Magnus Sites, listen up. Remember the video I, that I put out about um, the Hodge twins healing their back injuries? Okay, it was all about fasting and about the Gerson therapy. And in the Gerson therapy, they juice over 20 pounds of fruits and vegetables, organic, daily, along with giving you a few other supplements. Um, they also do what they call coffee enemas. If you think that's funny, go look it up, understand what it actually does. There's a lot of things that they do. This type of therapy has been known to heal herniated discs, okay? It has been known to heal all types of scars. It has been known to heal all types of diseases, including all the big ones that you know about, okay? Now, a guy posted a comment basically LOLing me and saying that um, he didn't understand how fasting would heal things when your body uses the fat and muscle to repair itself. And, you know, I told him basically, well, don't laugh about it. Because, you know, apparently I could tell that he didn't, hasn't studied fasting or even the Gearson therapy. He doesn't even understand it. Um, the body does not need much to repair itself. It really doesn't need much when you're fasting. Um, you won't lose that much weight. You got what I'm saying? But, first of all, the, the vanity involved. See... He doesn't want to lose muscle, okay? But your health is involved. So you're telling me, and I don't know whether the Hodge twins believe me or not. I know they liked my video, they wrote me, they commended me, they like me and everything, and they're real cool with me. I don't have no problem with them. I don't know whether they believe me or not, but what I'm saying is, it, it basically with this dude, if you're not going to do the research to understand it, how can you make like a blanket statement? Like he told me, um, I'm going to be all over the place in this video, and I don't know how long it's going to be. He told me that um, he was very skeptical of fasting, and he wouldn't lose um, five pounds of muscle to try it. Motherfucker, if, isn't it worth it to lose five pounds of muscle if a few days of fasting or the Gerson therapy would heal it, which is less expensive than surgery, and surgery sticks with you for the rest of your life? I mean, like, I don't get how people can be so close-minded. Food is something that will repair you and keep you invigorated. Surgery can replace a knee and a lot of other things, but people still have pain from that. People have to take medications for the rest of their life. Oh, so get into that. So he says to me that there's no scientific studies on fasting. Slow the fuck down. Slow the roll. Um... Well, let's think about where a lot of the medical studies come from. The pharmaceutical industry. The pharmaceutical companies often do these medical studies, okay? Why the fuck would they do a study on fasting? There's no profit in that. They sell drugs, right? Why the fuck would Pizza Hut worry about making a good ass roast beef sandwich? They sell pizzas. They're going to leave that to Arby's. Got what I'm saying? Like, people don't think before they speak. And I noticed this. This is the thing that irritates me the most on YouTube. Someone will pop up and put it. And a lot of them are trolls, but I can tell some of them are not trolls. Some of them are subscribers or some of them aren't. And they'll just say stuff, and I'm like, you really didn't even think that fucking through, did you? You're just a complete moron. I used to be a, a complete moron. I used to be like that. I used to have a certain idea set in my head, and then I wouldn't believe nothing else. You take a look at knowledge today, you take a look at just where we are today and where we have been. If you just look at certain things people knew and then they didn't know, and then this side of the world knows this and the other side of the world didn't know that, you got the, the Mayans being technologically advanced, having that... Um, that sophisticated calendar system when at the time um, Europeans uh, and a guy said this on Discovery one of the scientists were t were, they were rolling around in the mud and the Mayans knew all this at this time how do you go from the golden Roman age to the dark ages 
The Romans had aqueducts and sewage systems, and they, you know, they, they were philosophers and very intelligent. They knew things about the earth, and but then in the Dark Ages, which is after that, they didn't know about it. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, didn't the earth used to be flat, motherfuckers? Yeah, it, it, maybe it still is. Oh wait a minute. I got. I had a teacher who told me this. He said. Um, did you know that in medical science, if a cure is found or a treatment is found for something, it literally takes around 50 years for it to reach the public? Why the fuck would it take 50 years? The same one also told me when history is written, if it's written wrong or they made a mistake, it's never changed. Christopher Columbus, he didn't discover America, right? The point I'm trying to get, and you know, and there's a lot of y'all out there that are conspiracy theorists, and um, trust me, I've definitely delved into a lot of that that I'm not going to really go into on my channel, you got what I'm saying, but I've studied everything from the 13 satanic bloodlines to uh, you got um, aliens ruling us to, um, you know, uh, the powerful elite uh, being, you know, Satanists and uh, all this other crap, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And I don't even want to call it crap to 9-11 being an inside job. And you got all these different things, you know, people from different dimensions coming over. It's not really aliens. They're actually on the same dimensional plane, a different dimensional plane, but they live here. So sometimes they cross over and they're being holes in the polar ice caps where you can actually enter the earth and they're being an inner earth and where there's an inner sun. Trust me. I've checked out a ton of shit. So don't think that I haven't studied different aspects and looked at different other aspects of certain things. Okay, through studying and checking out a lot of these different things, I've formed my own opinions. And his, just so um, I'm being respectful, so you understand, his opinion is just as important as mine. But when you state an opinion, make sure you got something to back it, okay? He said there were no studies to back up fasting. There are studies to back up fasting. You may not have heard of them or seen them because maybe the medical journals or things you were studying were put out by the pharmaceutical industry. You're not going to find things about that with a company who's putting out pills. It's not in their best interest to. Because guess what? If everybody starts fasting, everybody starts doing the Gearson therapy, huge, huge cut in profit for that company. Okay? You know what I mean? If, if, if I'm doing, if you know, like me, you know, if I wanted to open up a company uh, that sold sneakers, you know what I mean, um, why would I invest in bricks? You got what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not going to make smart business sense for me to even do that, okay? Let me, tell you, let me tell you something else about knowledge and what people are taught. A lot of times you just believe for face value something someone on TV tells you, okay? For example... Um, or someone you believe is in authority tells you. For example, in the Dark Ages, uh, when someone had pus in a wound, they literally believed that it was God's angels fighting for your soul. Got you? Against uh, Satan's demons. So what they would do is if you, if I had a cut, and you had a cut, I had pus, they'd say, here, Tyrone, rub your pus so the, the angels can fight you know, for, for their soul too. And then we both end up dying from some fucking infection. Right, okay? These people in power telling you to do something and you just fucking believe it for face value. You know what I'm saying? You have to research, you have to look at things. Certain things just make sense. Remember that, remember that uh, scene in uh, Aliens vs. Predator 2? When um, the government was going to destroy that city? That, uh, that got infested with the aliens and there was a lady that was being trucked to the center of the city because there's people that decided to leave the city, people that decided to go to the center of the city for immediate evac, okay? And she said, the government wouldn't lie to us. Right, so, um, and then, for example, check this out. For a lot of y'all, you don't believe nobody that don't got a PhD or XYZ or ABC, whatever the fuck it is behind their name, right? My girl's mother went to the doctors, found out she had a fatty liver, which leads to cancer and a whole bunch of other shit, okay? I had told my girl 
previously about a cleanse called the cleaner. It was a liver cleanse. You get it at GNC, y'all. Works very well. I've used it a couple times. I love it. Okay? I told her, I said, Ed, don't have her take any medications yet. Go get her a liver cleanse. Now, the liver, what's funny is the liver cleanse is actually a two-week cleanse. You're not supposed to take them both at the same time. You're not supposed to go one week until the next. Well, our mom didn't read the bottle correctly, and she did both weeks. Did you know when she went back to the doctors, her liver condition was gone? And guess what? The doctor was... <laughs> didn't know. And she never knew what a liver cleanse was. How the fuck are you a doctor and you don't know what a liver cleanse is? Even is. You got what I'm saying? You go to college, you're taught something by somebody else who read it out of a book, and you take it for face value. And I know when, when, you, when, you, when I start talking like this, certain things can get really complicated, okay? There are certain things I'm still not sure about, but there's certain things I am sure about, and I have water fasted, and I felt incredible. I hurt for my sixth and seventh day, all in parts of my body I had injured as a kid or a few years back, and they were all 100% when I was done. Yes, I went from 200 pounds down to 179. I don't give a fuck. My health is more important than walking around with an extra 20 pounds of muscle on my frame. I can get that back, which I did. And you watch my intermittent fasting. No, I went from like 205 or whatever down to 193 or whatever. So I don't give a fuck. This, this muscle, that vein. Yeah, and the dude was like, you know, oh, I, uh, yeah, I lose five pounds of that muscle. That's not worth it. You fucking idiot, as far as I'm concerned. You are an idiot for saying some shit like that. All right, wise up. Your health is more important than five pounds of muscle, than that vanity, okay? I love bodybuilding, it's a hobby for me. It is not a life for me. You got what I'm saying? I like having the muscular frame, I like the superhero look when I put on tight shirts. You got what I'm saying? That's cool to me, I like it. Yes, it gets attention. Yes, it builds self-esteem and all these other things. But the fact of the matter is, it's a sport, it's a fad. You know what I mean? It was a fad at one time that grew very popular. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, boom, made it extremely popular. If you look at Superman, the way he was drawn all those years previously, afterwards he was a Hulk. It's because of Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, people like that. Wrestlers that made bodybuilding very popular. So don't think that bodybuilding is the most healthy thing for you to do in the world, cause it's not. You got what I'm saying? Bodybuild you don't hear about bodybuilders living to 120. You don't, okay? Because um, technically it really is a little bit too much exercise depending on how much they exercise. And they take in way too much protein. But here's the problem. It's needed to gain that much weight. You have to take in excess, excess, excess calories, which is a burden on your body's system. So for a small amount of time, you have this glorious God-like frame. By the way, if you look at all the Roman figures of gods, they didn't look like bodybuilders either. They were muscular, they were toned, but they didn't look like that. So for vanity, you're shortening your life, and I refuse to. And that's the reason why um, with certain things, even with the intermittent fasting in my diet, I refuse to kind of do certain things to cut that much fat. Basically because I've just learned so much about how the body works, and I'm still learning. I'll never know it all unless I'm immortal, but I'm working on that. <laughs> so, uh, but the fact of the matter is, you know, I'm not willing to sacrifice my health for a specific look. Guess what I noticed? I used to be, uh, years ago, years ago, I was very insecure. So my body was kind of like my, it was my crutch. I got girls off of my body because I wasn't too good at speaking to them. My rap wasn't too well. But um, I noticed that when I lost all that weight with 
um, fasting, which by the way, at that time, I'd gotten over that insecurity, but it was kind of funny. I didn't give a fuck. When I did, I was like, I'm still pulling. Yeah. So I lost 20 pounds and I was still pulling them. For all you guys that think you need an extra 20 pounds, you really still don't need it. Think about all the Hollywood movie stars and the models out there that are slim, good looking people. You really don't need to look like a bodybuilder. You know, a bodybuilder is similar to um, a female stripper. Most men don't marry strippers. They're more of a fantasy. A lot of girls might want to try you out, but it's usually the, the good looking, uh, more natural looking men that pull the most women. Just take a look. I guarantee you, if you were to ask all the celebrities out there, bet you Arnold Schwarzenegger's body count on women is not as big as Brad Pitt's. Guarantee you. Guarantee you. <laughs> yeah, this shit's making sense, right? Alright, so I think I've pretty much covered everything that I want to cover. Open your minds. Make sure that you are studying and when you study something, cross-reference it with other things, okay? So you make sure that your path is clear and you're moving forward. If you get stumped, think about it for a while, you know? You're not going to always get the answers to everything. Sometimes you got to put something down and you got to come back to it. You got what I'm saying? So, damn, y'all. Stop making stupid comments. Think. Really think before you say something to somebody. Because you don't know. You know what I mean? Like... As technologically advanced as we are now, we still don't know things. We still don't know things. Alright? You got Western knowledge, you got Eastern knowledge. Over in the East, they live longer than us. Did you know that in mortality, the United States is ranked number 60? The last time I read about this, we were number 48. Now we're number 60. The most powerful country in the world next to what? China now? China might be more powerful than us right now. They may not be telling us, right? Look, we're number 60. How are you that fucking powerful and your people die that much earlier than all these third world countries? Exactly. What do they know that we don't know about health? That's just one thing. You know what I mean? You look at stuff from the past. Oh, we supposedly live longer now? It's not true, okay? I'm very skeptical about that. I've read a few things that said that, um, well, actually, that's true. If you do not factor in the wars. See all the wars in the past? Huge body counts, which made it look, okay, like they were dying faster back then, okay? You have to factor in the wars. Once you factor in the wars, then you're like, okay, well, wait a minute. If all these people didn't go to war and die, then, okay, well, they would have lifespans of this. You got what I'm saying? Because the people that didn't go to war lived this long. Yeah, they weren't dying early at 20 years of age and 19 and 18 and whatever, going to war and being the little drummer boy at five years old to, 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 to getting shot in the fucking face in the Civil War and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't give a fuck if this video's going along. Y'all that like me is listening. Y'all understand it. Open your minds. Never stop learning. Never stay stagnant. Never totally take something for face value, okay? Now, say, for example, you meet an extreme expert in something. What you want to do is use the principle, who do you listen to, okay? And it is true. Like, oh, who the fuck is Tyrone Magnus? Who the fuck is he? He ain't got no A, B, C, P, H, D, X, Y, Z behind his name. No, but he actually learned from people with these this behind his name. You got what I'm saying? So you, you're going to want to look at what they, even what they say, and you may believe it at the time, but you're going to question it, okay? Until you fully understand. See, a lot of times you're told something you understand, a lot of times you don't understand it, but you still believe it. Those things, you might want to just, just read up on them so you understand, all right? That's the end of my video, y'all. <laughs> I'm exhausted mentally from spewing my brains out to all of you. But Magnesites, I'll never fail you. If you got any questions, ask me a question. I do my best to answer it. And I'm not going to be like, <laughs> you can't do that because <laughs> I'm not like that. I'm not a moron that is not is going to say some dumb shit like that. All right, y'all. I will talk to y'all later. And maybe I'll have a few more videos up today.